Hey guys! For today's video, naisip ko naman na gumawa ng content for online jobs to help those teenagers and beginners. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo guys, yung mga usual na sinishare nating website, they require a legal age of at least 18 years old. Pero may mga ilan-ilan din naman na pwede kahit kanino. So this time, I decided to focus and help those teenagers and beginners and look for jobs na pwede for 13 years old and above. I did my research and I was able to find 5 online jobs or website from where you can earn as a teenager or a beginner habang nasa bahay ka lang. So if you are 13 years old or above or if you're a beginner, this one is definitely for you. This video will talk about this 5 websites na sinasabi ko. Ano ba yung mga task and job duties for each website, their requirements, and of course, pag-usapan din natin yung mga salary and payment method. Kaya naman kung interested ka sa topic na to, please keep on watching and stay with me up until the end of this video. Don't skip any part of it para wala ka namang mamiss na information. everyone, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is RJ. Kung bago ka pa lang dito sa aking channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell para naman updated ka sa ating mga videos about work from home and home-based jobs. And also, please don't forget to like this video. Before tayo mag-start at before ko isa-isahin itong website na gusto kong i-share for the teenagers and for the beginners, just a heads up na before applying, you still need to let a parent or a guardian know. Kailangan alam pa rin nila na papasok kayo sa work kasi even if it's only online, ito ay trabaho pa rin guys. So since underage kayo, especially for those 13 to 17 years old, you still need the guidance from a parent or guardian or an approval at least. Also to set proper expectation, for most of the jobs, they would require a bank account, pay on your account, PayPal, so most of these payment options would require at least 18 years and above. So may mga ID validation, document validation. So if you are between 13 to 17, you will not be able to create your own account. So you can definitely use your parents or guardians account or you can ask assistance from them. Nagawan kayo ng account but they will still manage your payment account as a primary holder. So yan, gusto ko lang iset yung mga expectations na yan before tayo mag-start. So now, let's proceed sa ating topic and let's start with the website Fiverr. So dito guys, kay Fiverr, you can offer services. Any type of services. As in, there's no limit. Kung saan ka magaling, you can offer services. And ang mangyayari dito guys, ibebenta nyo siya online, gagawa kayo ng account, then you will create your gigs. Ganun yung tawag nila sa mga services na ibebenta mo. And then, bibili niya ng mga clients na nangangailangan ng ganong specific service. Pwede kang mag-offer ng transcription services, subtitling services. Kung magaling ka naman into graphic design, pwede kang mag-offer ng logo design, thumbnail creation, graphic content creation. Or if you're good at video editing, pwede mo rin i-offer yung service na yan. If you're good at making PowerPoint presentations, creating resumes, writing articles or stories, proofreading documents, so you can definitely offer those kind of services. For the requirements, you need a laptop or a PC to create your gigs. Available si Fiverr sa phone guys to manage your account, to manage your orders. Pero when it comes to creating gigs, you need to use a PC or a computer. Kasi hindi siya available dun sa app. You also need to have your stable internet connection. And you need to have, of course, a specific skill or skills na pwede mong i-offer sa platform nila. Dito guys, you can set your own price. Pero since we're talking about beginners or teenagers, ang may isasuggest ko is to check yung mga service na kagaya nung ino-offer mo. Kunyari, you are offering logo design services. You can look for freelancers na nag-offer din ng logo designs. You can check their prices. Tapos ilapit mo lang doon yung price na i-offer mo. Or Fiverr, they pay through PayPal or bank transfer. And anyone from any country can apply. Available to guys for 13 years old and above. The next company guys is Voices. So dito naman kay Voices.com, you can earn by doing voiceovers voice animations, audiobook narration, audio production, 
and anything related using your voice. So, ang puhunan mo dito is your voice. Kaya kung ikaw ay someone na maganda yung register ng voice, if you know how to do voiceover or voice animations, you can definitely use this platform to earn money habang nasa bahay lang. Dito guys, you need your phone, laptop, or PC, or kung anong device yung available. You need to have your stable internet connection. You need to have your quality microphone kasi yan yung gagamitin nyo to perform different tasks. And a headset or earphone for editing purposes para mapakinggan nyo rin yung sarili nyong work. The starting salary for this job is about $100 per job or per project. Depende pa rin yan if the project requires more time or more effort. Kung mas mahirap yung project, mas malaki yung amount na pwede nyo ma-earn. Tapos guys, ang ginagamit nila for payroll is SurePay. Si SurePay ay isang platform from where they can pay freelancers. Pero yung mismong sahod mo, once it's paid with SurePay, it will directly be sent to your PayPal account or as a corporate check. So definitely you can use PayPal. So dito guys, they hire freelancers worldwide and open siya for 13 years old and above. The third website guys is YouTube. You can also earn as a vlogger or a content creator. You can definitely think of a specific topic na gusto mong i-cover sa channel mo and you can start your own YouTube channel. So for being a content creator with YouTube, you need your phone. Honestly ako guys, ang gamit ko lang is phone to edit my videos. You can also use your laptop or any device. You need to have an internet connection since it is an online platform. Tapos for you to start earning with YouTube, you need to monetize your channel. For you to be monetized, you need to reach 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. Pag na-reach mo na itong mga requirement na to, you can apply for monetization and once approved, your videos can start earning passive income. So with YouTube, you can earn at least $100 on a monthly basis. The only payment option available is bank account or wire transfer. Of course, it's available worldwide and there is no age limit. Fourth one on our list, guys, is Content Gather. So kay Content Gather, you can earn naman by being a content writer or by writing stories, articles, or any type of writing materials. So dito kay Content Gather, you can use your phone to write content or you can use any other device. You need to have your stable internet connection and of course, you need to have a passion for writing. Ang payment nila dito is a base per word. So that will be around $0.02 to $0.20 per word. They only pay through PayPal and they also accept applicants from any country. This one is only available for 16 years old and above. The last website that I'd like to share for our teenagers and for the beginners is Supahands. So dito naman guys, kay Supahands, you can be a Supa agent. So yan yung tawag nila sa mga employees nila. And you can work for non-voice tasks when it comes to data. Like image annotation, data management, data tagging, data moderation, or content moderation. So yan yung mga gagawin mong task dito kay Supahands. Tapos guys, for requirement, you need to have your computer or PC. You need to have your internet connection and you should be able to follow specific instructions. Kasi dito per task, they would have specific instructions that you need to follow to make sure na magawa nyo ng tama yung mga projects. With Supahans, the average earning is around $240 per month and you can get paid through PayPal or bank transfer. And meron din silang option for cash pickup only in the Philippines. You can claim your salary through Palawan Express. They hire freelancers worldwide and wala ding age limit. So guys, those are the 5 websites na gusto kong i-share sa inyo, lalo na sa mga viewers natin na teenagers and beginners when it comes to working at home. So these are definitely legit websites from where you can earn. I hope na nakatulong to and if you're one of the teenagers or beginners, I hope na mahanap mo na yung job mo from one of these websites na sinabi ko. And guys, if you have any questions, reactions, or content suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. And don't forget guys to like this video, lalo na kung nakatulong to sa inyo. And don't forget to share this with your friends, your family, and your relatives para aware din sila sa mga job opportunities na na-share ko sa inyo for today. 
So that is it for today guys. If you are new here dito sa aking channel, please consider subscribing and click the bell icon para updated ka sa ating next videos about work from home and earn from home tips. Bye!